talk about faith. So, some people should write down justifier on their occupation section when they're filling out a form with all the work that they're doing to justify themselves, with all the work that they're doing to work or fabricate a, a narrative or a sealed up story that would prove them to be righteous, but they're not really righteous. That's because they don't have faith, and it's true faith that you attain righteousness, but a lot of people think that it's true discipline or true self-denial or true weird things like charisma or con convincing other people or being called righteous that you are you have attained righteousness but it's through faith that we gain the justification of righteousness now what do i mean by faith You all know me by now, and if you don't know me by now, when I talk about faith, I talk about faith in the one master, Jesus Christ, Yeshua, HaMashiach, the Messiah, he who was and is and is to come, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That's who I'm talking about, putting your faith in now. What do I mean by faith? So simply put, to believe, to put your trust in, to have a, a, a courage or courage in the fact that this person, Jesus, is able to provide and sustain you and to take you through life and deal with the desires of your heart, the desires for righteousness. Why is the focus beaten up? Goody, goody. Um, so, the Messiah, faith in the Messiah. So how does this faith work? How does this belief in Jesus make any difference in the life of those who believe in him? Now, again, many people get so caught up in that if, okay, if I am going to do the right thing, I have to do the right thing. I have to make my life right. I have to clean up all the sin out of my life. I have to get myself off, wean myself off of my addictions. I have to stop doing all those bad things, which isn't true. You do have to repent, but repentance is turning to Jesus and confessing your sins and believing that he is righteous to forgive you of your sins and through that forgiveness and belief in him then you get the power to believe in God and to, to sorry not just believe but to to now turn away from the sins that you are trying to leave behind so I think that we have so many master rationalists, mm, um, logicians, and critical thinkers that think that they could critical think their way into salvation or into a happy place or into a place of peace or a place of love. But, um, you know, the, the result of these functions of thought uh, discernment but maybe not salvation maybe not righteousness because even if you could critical think your way into find saying okay I know what is right but does that logical thinking give you the power to do what is right so um, I guess people often time just try to parallel faith and uh, critical thought but my, my thing is they, they serve two different functions where faith 
is what gives you the power to have grace. Um, by grace, I mean power to live righteously, power to change, power to transform your life. You know, critical thinking just gives you the power to assess your life. Two different things, and I don't know why you would try to load one up with the other. Um, so I, I want to talk more about faith, you know. Simply put, there's a limit to our human understanding and what it could accomplish, a limit to our human self-control and self-discipline and what it could accomplish, but there is no limit to what you could accomplish through faith in Jesus. So why, why do I say that? And it's because the faith, faith taps into the supernatural or the spiritual realm. Yes, faith, we're talking about spiritual things. And, and now you could say, well, oh gosh, now he's gone off the rails because he's talking about spiritual things. Well, yes, and that is the key reason why you will never attain your freedom because you don't have the faith to believe you have, not, you have abandoned faith as a function of the human, the human consciousness, the human mind, the human will. You don't, you don't allow faith to operate in your life. But faith is a powerful thing. Because it's, it's how man attains salvation. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. You know, God is not pleased by the intelligence of man. He is pleased by you believing in him. By, by listening to hearing his word. Hearing what he's telling you that he wants to do for you what he did for you, what he did for you on the cross of Jesus, which is to die for the sake of, of all mankind, for the forgiveness of sins, and for the, the saving, so that you could have, sorry, so, and by sa so forgiveness of sins, and by saving, I mean a life abundant after your salvation. So to take you into a spiritual life full of abundant wisdom and provision beyond what you may have known or attained through physical means so spiritual mir mir miracles the at the attaining of miracles is through faith yeah so um i go back to without faith it's impossible to please god without faith god you know god is not going to be moved by you he's not you can you could um do as much good as you so called choose to do you know you could you could give to as many people as you want you know god will bless you you can save somebody's life god will bless you but did you please god no because you didn't believe in him and his word so by the law of faith God is not going to provide to you the gift of eternal life the gift of salvation the forgiveness of Christ it's just through belief so so simply put I guess the point the statement I'm trying to make is because you refuse to believe you are unable to attain to the things of God it's people try to substitute belief they try to 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 they refuse to believe, so they try to use every other b means by which to attain what belief is supposed to give you. But you don't want to believe. And that's the, that's the difficulty because everything else is easy compared to believing. Because believing, it, it's like you believe in things not seen yet. Faith is the evidence of things not seen, the, the substance of things hoped for. So basically... It's like you have to go back to being a child and like believe in it like in your parents again where you're like you just trusted them with your whole heart to provide for you and to take care of you. It Most people are, are unwilling to go back to that kind of mentality of pure belief. They, they're looking for they're like nah they have to be another way they have to be some kind of learning that I could attain enlightenment through there there has to be some kind of um food I could eat or drink or something to smoke or something to sniff that would make me 
like God. But let, let me tell you this, is that you think you're God. You think that you could justify yourself. You think that you are the justifier. You think that you could make some, you could make some kind of thing happen. You could do build a tower tall enough to make God respect you. You know, you think you could c climb up to God on a ladder and say, God, look I right here, look me. Yeah, no, that's not going to work. So better you humble and fall on your knees and say, God, I, I believe in you. Simply put your, your, um, you put your pride before your faith. You put your pride before God and you're not really willing to humble and let God reveal himself to you, trying to reveal yourself to God. Mm. Um, you know, and that's why when, when so many people, that's why nobody can't tell you nothing and that's why nobody can't help you because you really don't have the faith. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. Without without belief, you, you're not going to get much further along in your spirituality because you could do spiritual things. You don't need faith to meditate. You don't, you, sorry, I'm not, not going to go too far down that road, but you don't need faith to experience a spiritual, spiritual things, but you need faith to experience the God over all spirit that is what he that is what he, his desire is for those who believe in him who love him who who have heard his word and believes what he says in his word that's faith so not just um, I'm not just asking you to have something well intangible this intangible idea of faith and this intangible idea of God, it's, it's um, it's it's right here. Believe in the Word of God, all of it, the full truth, the full truth, and nothing but the truth. Read it, read it, read it, and believe it, and then you shall see God. Simply put. Uh, if you, uh, if it, if you have a little faith. Faith the side of a mustard seed, you can move mountains. If you have a little faith, God will respond to your prayers. If you have a little ob obedience, a little bit of patience to, for God to deliver stuff in your life, you'll see miracles. We are a faithless generation and people who deny God and curse God, they go further than not having faith, but they deny the very God of the universe to their own detriment and to their own hurt because you're not hurting God. I mean, you'll break his heart, but you, can, you know, who could, who could, you know, spit in the air and spit at God? The spit fall back in your own eye, so... I just try to bless you. I pray that your faith is increased. And, uh, you know, if you're feeling a lack of faith, miraculously pray and get more faith. Pray and get more faith. Pray for faith. Pray for faith. And those who believe, increase your faith because there is no limit to how much faith you could apply to the Word of God because God is really... A uh, uh, deep well, a uh, 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 shine, a uh, uh, turning diamond whose facets don't don't lose their luster. And every turn, he's more beautiful than the last. So, do richer things in faith. Do deepen your faith. Deep cries out to deep. Do deeper works for God out of faith. Do do more laying of hands. Do more healing. Do more deliverance. Do more dreaming. Hear more from God. Preach in more words of faith. Declare more words of faith. Shine out more works of darkness. 
reveal more works of the devil, bring more souls to Jesus. Power and faith is power and faith. Go further in the faith of Christ Jesus. Oh, Jesus, I love you. In Jesus' name I pray. I bless you. I bless you. And I pray that the Lord has mercy upon you and your family. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.